slap them in the mouth. It's an unofficial pass holder resort day, everyone. Princess and the Bear here, and we're back at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort because one, we love this place, two, they have new food here. And any excuse for us to come back to Caribbean Beach, we're here for it, we love their food. Yeah, as your number one choice in foodie infotainment, we're here to chow down on new menu items, so let's go hang out in the Caribbean. Please enjoy Banana Quebec. You heard the girl. Blog post wrong. You can get it at 40 Disney locations, including Geyser, and Banana Cabana is one of them. So I did the same thing again. I got the mule without pineapple with lime juice instead. Our server looked at me like I was crazy. This one's not as good as the one that I had at Wilderness Lodge. It's a little bit weaker. I'm not as much of a fan of it as I was the other day. Um, I'm gonna give it two and a half out of five mules. I guess it's only mulicious depending on who's making it, which I guess is true for every bartender. There's a lot of good ones at Disney though. The princess's endless war against everything pineapple continues, and I am alone the rebellion in this channel. Pineapple all things. This feels like Treason. Then. The mint does something for me. And with the added lime, I'm getting mule. I'm liking it's not as ginger forward, it's more lime than mule. And I can rock with that. Like these drums in the background. Give that a uh, three and a half out of five bars. This is the mule drum. This is not on TV. So here we have a Goombe smash. I was gonna order a frozen drink, but they make a lot of mango margaritas here in the blender, and they were afraid that if I got one, it'd be a chance of cross combination. I'm a bear, I would chance it, but the smart thing is probably not do it. So I got a Goombe smash. Because I always want to get smashed. I love Goombe. My inner Floridian says it's missing something. It's okay, but I've had better. Two and a half out of five plus. Calypso salad. This is the only vegan option on the Banana Cabana menu. And once again, we are in this conundrum of salads being not marked vegan on the app, but then marked vegan at the restaurant. So, we're doing it again. With this beautiful sauce, and this avocado, we got some berries. Would love to see some like tofu or something on this, like we had at Wilderness Lodge. But I do wanna give a shout out to Chef David for being so awesome and coming out and talking to us, talking to us about the options, talking to us about Sebastian, definitely need to go back. We promise him we're going to go back. Comment and tell us if we should go back to Sebastian's Bistro. Here we go with the salad. I may have overdressed it, but you know, you got to toss your own salad. Eat. Oh, this bite is way too big, but I commit to my mistake. There's black beans in this. I didn't get a bite of black beans. Mostly greens. The greens are like very fresh, washed perfectly. They're not like. Whoa, there was some other salad I had the other day that was really gross tasting. I, I want to say it was Ohana maybe, where like the, the salad leaves just tasted unwashed. This does not taste like it at all. This is fresh. This is amazing. This is like I just got fresh food from the store or something and it's. Well, as fresh as it can be from the store. But it's amazing. Even the avocado is perfect. I really like the dressing. It's not too thick. I don't know. I really like this salad. It tosses my salad, but I do kind of feel like 
just having a salad isn't enough. And I did ask as far as I thought maybe Banana Cabana would be like Tombu Lounge where you could order Ohana things, like Sebastian things. That is not the case here. So I was hoping I did not succeed. Two and a half out of five salads. Medium toss is my salad. I don't think I'm gonna tell people to come here for this. It's not that kind of salad. We herald Caribbean Beach Resorts being one of the most vegan friendly resorts on Walt Disney World property. They have some of the most standout meat options that we have ever seen in a resort. Usually, usually at every single food station. Salad for vegans. While technically vegan, you have the best bistro next door that serves like some of the best vegan food on property. At your bar, you only serve a salad. Don't look at this. I know you have the skill here. It's the will. Go ahead and dig into this salad. Let me see if I can uh, rescue some of the beans from their prison. Way down here at the bottom. Way down. Way down. Way down. I don't see no beans. One bean. There's one bean in there. That dressing is something special. It's got a nice little tang to it. Well washed lettuce, nice and crunchy, fresh, the avocado. Pairs well with the citrus. I feel like it needs a little bit more to it. Like more black beans, like the black beans are in there, but it's like a needle in a haystack or like a needle in a bag of lettuce. Either way, it's a salad with potential. It's got good bones. Or what do these have? Stems? Good stems? Three out of five. What do you think if they added the Sebastian's tofu to that salad? It would slay. A vegan fish salad would slay. Not the fish, the tofu. Just the tofu? Yeah. It would be amazing. But not slay? Now you want the fish for slay? I mean, when was the last time you had a vegan? With salmon salad is a thing, so why not vegan fish salad? I just feel like that would be a thing. That's just me though. Stick with my three out of five. Well, here we have the seafood fritters and a basket reminisce of old Key West. We haven't been there in a while. We do eventually plan to go back. It's been a bit. Uh, let's the basket. This is an appetizer. One of their new appetizers. These nice, crispy fried balls. I feel like everything on this menu sends a salad is fried. You get what you get. Got a little sauce dipping in. I give you guys a dip. You love the sauce dips. Dippy ippy. Covered. The G food is nice and mint. So you don't get like any like one thing of seafood. It's just like a generic seafood flavor, well seasoned and breaded, and then fried. It's got a good seasoning to it. It's not spicy or anything, but like. I like the flavor. I can stand with it to be a little bit more crunchier on the outside due to that bitterness, but it's very soft. Not like under too soft, but it can be a little bit more crispy. I, however, have no qualms about the flavor. That gives it four out of five bars. So here we have the coconut shrimp. Five coconut shrimps. It should say shrimps. I know shrimp is plural, but it should say shrimps. Five shrimps and a little bit of fries with the dip. Passion fruit dip. Nice, super breaded coconut shrimp. You little coconut bits in there. Served on the tail. Give it a nice little dipping. All the dippings. Not gonna lie. That is actually a little bit spicy. Like a slow creep, front of the tongue. I give it like three and a half, four on the spice scale. Wasn't expecting that. I was expecting like a super sweet dipping sauce with no spice. It's enough to like pair well with the coconut too. You're not a huge coconut person. You're not getting slapped in the mouth. It's not that unbalanced coconut trend that you normally get, but it's a very good flavor. I only wish I had more shrimp. This feels like an appetizer, but it's a 
good one. Four and a half out of five points. This is my new jam since Wilderness Lodge. Uncle Nearest with ginger ale and a fresh lime. This is like Jameson on fire. I guess it's better than Jameson, right? Well, things may think they're better than Jameson, but Jameson's availability, drinkability has some benefits. Uncle Nearest, though, will never say no. An extra squeeze of lime really does it. I don't normally like lime in my whiskey beverages, but this one, I got no complaints. Absolutely no notes. Three and a half out of five plus. Then we have another themed drink here, Banana Cabana. One that I get quite often is the Kraken Punch, called Kraken because it's got Kraken Spice Rum. I think it was like a little bit more spicy Sailor Jerry, and that's where you go. If I'm going to drink a Spice Rum, is it going to be Kraken or Sailor Jerry? Captain Morgan is kind of Anthony and Captain Morgan is not vegan either. But as for the Kraken, cheers to the spot and Davy Jones. I'd be willing to sink the ocean deep for this. Four out of five plus. Thank you very much. I blew up my flip flops. And I stepped on pump time. You still hungry? Food was good, but light. I'm still hungry. Bear's full. Are you full? I had five shrimp and like so you're four not, fritters. So you're no. gonna eat with me too? I'm, I made much. Oh, okay. So we're gonna go with Spyglass yes. because my salad was kind of lame and his food, I guess, wasn't filling. The entertainment is cool. Entertainment will be here every Friday and Saturday moving forward. So definitely go to Cabana, bleh, Banana Cabana for that. I mean, it's good. It's very good. But now let's go get some real food. We come from across the long sidewalk here to arrive at the Spyglass the Grill. Yes. The pirate themed one with the good food and the actual vegan options. This is probably our favorite quick service place or in our top five favorite quick service places in all of Disney World. For breakfast and lunch and they don't get, we don't get keep here. This is a little tiny quick service on the other side of the Caribbean Resort. It's worth the walk. You can even That's mobile order. Yes. Uh, we recommend this as like a pre-Hollywood Studios breakfast. Come here, nab this, go to park. I oh, agree. Let's get some food. She's yeah. starving. She's wasting away over here. I wasting. Mean, the salad was, you know, it was wasting salad. away. She didn't disappear. See, look, she's disappearing. She's disappearing. I got the guava lemonade. It's just Minute Maid with Tito's. Cheers. That is not the drink I'm looking for. It's like a two out of five Tito's. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't need assistance with this. Quick service cocktail. Beware. They're either incredibly sugary or incredibly strong. There's never a middle ground. Like ever. Ever, ever. Yes, sir, I will take my battery acid with a splash of pink lemonade, please. Guava pink lemonade. Ooh, I'd clean the driveway with this. Two and a half out of five plus. Actually, no, I'm good. So my beloved black bean tacos. I talk about these all the time. These are literally the best tacos on Disney World property for vegans. I'm gonna put a little bit of pico on there. 
And then we have some hot sauce. So I guess I have to put this down again to add some hot sauce. All right, so now we have some hot sauce. So I'll put a little bit on here. Gotta have some hot sauce on these beautiful things. Or not, it's up to you. You live your best hot sauce life. I'm not gonna judge you. Cheers. Mm. It's so good. The only thing that can make this more perfect is if you added like some taco season TVP. Then it would be fire. But it's still really good. I'm gonna give it 4.75 out of 5 tacos. This is the best place for tacos for vegans on Disney World property. I guarantee you. Come here and try it. You will not be let down. You can come and take the Skyliner from Hollywood Studios or Epcot. Just do it. It's a good, like, nice little park break. It's funny that these tacos are one of our early reviews in this channel. I remember we reviewed these tacos in our car because it was pouring down rain. But, yes, nice succulent black bean tacos. They may seem basic, but they nail everything. The beans, the slaw, soft tortilla, the crunch, the cheese. It just works. You won't find tacos this consistent anywhere else. On Disney World property, the Disney service, Disney owned quick service, just not gonna happen. Four and a half out of five plus. We got some beautiful yucca and plantain chips. I'm glad you can choose these instead of french fries because I was feeling these. These are the best. I love that they're not overly salted. I love a good chip that's just like, is what it is. And the plantains, they don't try to be anything but plantains. They're just good. I like them. Four and a half out of five chips. This is like one of the best quick service options you could do. And just, you know, enjoy your day. I love plantain. I just wish it was easier to cook at home. The cooking part wasn't hard, the chopping part was insane. I had to like machete the yuca that we bought just to get it in shape that resembled something you could put in your mouth and not choke on and die. So these chips, the crunch, a light yuca flavor. I like it. Three and a half out of five plus. I too a little hungry of the small little meal that I had and I love their Cuban here it's like a basic bare bones Cuban they do everything right from the uh, mustard to the pickles the melted cheese all nice and pressed and grilled look at that look at that char on that sliced pork mm. the Cuban is the ultimate pressed sandwich argue with me all you like I'm always gonna believe you're wrong Four and a half out of five plots. It's always easy to do food at night and stroll here at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. Or just stay here and enjoy all the food. There's so many amazing places to eat here. It's definitely a good time. I wish our portions at Command and Bay had been larger, but obviously we have other options. We easily walk to Spygrass Grill. We hear the fireworks. Spyglass Grill. You said Banana Cabana, or you said uh, Cabana Bay also. I did? Okay. Well, it's hot. <laughs> but, if you guys want to come here, or you want to, other things you'd like to see us do here, by all means, the comments are going to place to find us. Hit that notification bell. We'll see other videos like this, and... We have new videos five days a week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe, and if you don't comment, Bear is going to yeet himself into this pond. And just... Stay in, as a turtle? I don't know. Transform into a turtle. I don't know what you're talking about, but you heard the girl. I blew up my flip flops. And I stepped on the time. And I cut my heels and got a head back home. But there's booze in the blender. You can ask my bartender.
yourself.